Imagine that most of your day is spent under a veil of unconscious vigilance. For a significant portion of our lives, we exist in a protective state, dominated by stress and survival instincts. This isn't merely a hypothesis, but a reality for many. We continuously scan our environments, almost compulsively, to check for safety. This act, while seemingly benign, puts us in a perpetual state of arousal and readiness for conflict or escape. This survival mode is deeply ingrained. It's a program running in the background, dictating reactions and decisions without us even realizing it. Every unexpected event or deviation from the norm triggers this program. Our bodies and minds switch to a high alert state, activating physiological responses that were useful in prehistoric times when physical threats were prevalent, but which now trigger in response to everyday stressors like financial worries or job pressures. This constant state of stress impacts more than just our nerves. It shapes our entire life's narrative, including our financial decisions. When we are in this mode, our brain prioritizes immediate survival. Long-term planning, such as saving for retirement or investing in opportunities that may take time to mature, can seem less urgent compared to immediate financial crises or quick gains. This short-sighted approach can perpetuate a cycle of debt and a continuous string of financial misfortunes or bad luck. When stressed, our capacity for making well-thought-out, rational financial decisions diminishes. We're more likely to make choices that offer immediate relief or short-term benefits, choices that might appease our anxious states but hurt our financial futures. For example, consider how stress might lead one to accrue high interest debt from impulsive purchases that provide a temporary sense of relief or happiness. This type of behavior is a direct manifestation of operating under stress, choices made under duress that lead to long-term financial repercussions. Moreover, stress impacts our perception of luck. When we're stressed, we may not notice opportunities around us, or worse, we may perceive opportunities as threats. This skewed perception can make us feel unlucky or cursed when in fact we are simply unable to see through the fog of our survival instinct. Our financial lives become fraught with bad luck, not because fortune has forsaken us, but because our stressed minds can't navigate towards healthier financial waters. The first step in changing our financial destiny and overall sense of luck is recognizing that we are trapped in a survival mindset. This realization isn't trivial, it's a profound awakening to the invisible forces shaping our lives. Once we understand that we are operating under the influence of an outdated program, we can begin to rewrite the script. Breaking free requires a conscious effort to identify and alter our habitual responses. We need to learn to recognize the signs of stress and the automatic defensive mechanisms we deploy when we feel threatened. This could be as simple as noticing when we're about to make a fear-based financial decision or recognizing a pattern of negative thinking regarding our economic situation. Transforming our mindset involves a shift from fear to mindfulness, from reactivity to proactivity. It's about choosing to respond differently choosing to see challenges as opportunities for growth and development rather than threats. This shift doesn't happen overnight, but through consistent practice and engagement with new ways of thinking and being. What does it mean to open the heart in the context of financial health and luck? It's about allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, open to new experiences and different outcomes without the preemptive fear of failure or loss. This heart opening is crucial, not just in our personal relationships, but also in how we relate to the world of finance and opportunities. An open heart is receptive. It sees possibilities where a closed heart sees only obstacles. It embraces the potential for prosperity even when risks are involved. When we operate from an open-hearted state, we're more likely to engage with our finances in a healthy, optimistic manner. We can make decisions that are not based on fear but on potential and growth. Opening the heart also means embracing gratitude and generosity, traits that can transform our interaction with money. A grateful person recognizes the abundance in their life and is more likely to make financial decisions that reflect a mindset of sufficiency rather than scarcity. Generosity, on the other hand, circulates prosperity. It breaks the shackles of hoarding and opens up channels for more wealth to flow into our lives. When we approach our financial lives with an open heart, we not only enhance our chances of material success, but also align ourselves with a kind of good fortune that transcends mere luck. 
It's about creating a life where abundance is not just about wealth, but also about joy, satisfaction, and meaningful connections, elements that are often sidelined when we operate solely from a survival mindset. Science increasingly supports the notion that our emotional and mental states have tangible effects on our physical and financial health. When we discuss opening the heart, we are not only referring to emotional and relational capacities, but also to a physiological state that influences our cognitive functions and decision-making abilities. An open heart is not merely a metaphor for kindness and vulnerability, but is also associated with a specific physiological state characterized by coherence between the heart and the brain. This state enhances our ability to think clearly, make wise decisions, and perceive opportunities, a critical aspect when dealing with financial matters. Research in the field of neurocardiology shows that the heart and brain communicate continuously, and the heart's electromagnetic field is far more powerful than that of the brain. When the heart is in a state of coherence, it can influence brain functions positively, leading to improved emotional regulation and cognitive performance. In practical terms, this means better problem-solving abilities, enhanced creativity, and greater emotional stability, all vital for effective financial planning and management. Furthermore, when we open our hearts, we activate parts of the brain associated with positive emotions and social engagement. This shift can directly impact our financial behaviors. For instance, individuals who operate from a state of gratitude and openness are more likely to invest in their future, engage in responsible spending, and avoid the pitfalls of impulsive financial decisions driven by fear or stress. Transforming your financial life begins with transforming your inner life. Here are some practical steps that you can start implementing today to foster a healthier financial future. Begin by becoming aware of your current financial state and how it correlates with your emotional state. Do you notice patterns where stress leads to impulsive spending? Or perhaps when feeling low, do you tend to ignore your financial planning? Recognizing these patterns is the first step toward change. Set clear intentions for what you want to achieve financially. Visioning is a powerful tool. Visualize your financial goals as already achieved. How does it feel to be financially secure and free from debt? What does your life look like? Detailed visualization practices can help manifest these goals into reality by aligning your subconscious mind with your financial aspirations. Work on reconditioning your emotional responses to money and financial decisions. Instead of responding with fear or anxiety about finances, try to cultivate feelings of abundance, trust, and confidence. This can be achieved through mindfulness practices, meditation, and emotional literacy exercises that help you recognize and shift your emotional states. Adjust your financial behaviors to align with your new emotional state and your financial vision. This might include creating a budget that reflects your values and goals, setting up automatic savings for investments, reducing unnecessary expenses, or seeking financial advice to make more informed decisions. Behavioral changes are concrete steps that turn your emotional and mental shifts into tangible outcomes. Surround yourself with a supportive community that shares your financial and emotional goals. This could be a group of like-minded individuals who are also focused on improving their financial well-being or a professional group that can offer advice and support. Community support is crucial as it provides not only encouragement but also accountability. As you begin to implement these steps, you may notice a profound shift, not just in your financial life, but in your overall experience of what you might call luck. Aligning your internal state with an energy of abundance and success does more than just improve your mood. It creates a conducive environment for opportunities and positive outcomes to flow into your life. Consider the notion of good luck as being in the right place at the right time. When your heart is open, and your emotions are in coherence with your brain, you're more likely to be that person who is always lucky. You'll be more present in the moment, more aware of the opportunities around you, and more likely to take actions that will lead to positive outcomes. This isn't just luck. It's about creating a life where you are attuned to the possibilities that surround you. For many, life is enveloped in a defensive stance fueled by stress and primal survival instincts. This state is not conjecture but a reality where we incessantly scrutinize our surroundings for safety, driven by an almost obsessive need for security. 
This perpetual alertness, though subtle, keeps us ever ready for fight or flight. Such a survivalist mindset is deeply embedded within us, operating silently in the background, influencing our choices and behaviors without our conscious awareness. Any slight irregularity or unforeseen occurrence can activate this internal alarm system. Our bodies and minds then escalate to a heightened state of alert, triggering ancient physiological reactions once necessary for physical threats, but now responding to modern day stressors like financial strain or workplace demands. This relentless stress does not merely fray our nerves, it molds our entire life narrative and financial behaviors. In survival mode, our brain shifts focus to immediate threats, sidelining long-term goals like saving for retirement or investing in future prospects. This myopic view fosters a cycle of debt and financial missteps often perceived as bad luck. Under stress, our ability to make sound, rational financial decisions is compromised. We gravitate towards choices that promise quick relief or short-term rewards, which may soothe our immediate anxieties, but undermine our financial future. For instance, stress might drive someone to accumulate high interest debt through spur-of-the-moment purchases that offer fleeting joy. Moreover, stress distorts our perception of luck. In a stressed state, we may overlook opportunities or worse, view them as potential threats. This misperception can leave us feeling unlucky or doomed, whereas we are merely blinded by our own survival instincts. Our financial journeys are plagued with bad luck, not due to a lack of fortune, but because our stressed minds are incapable of steering towards sound financial decisions. The key to altering our financial fate and overall sense of fortune is recognizing our entrapment within this survival mindset. Acknowledging this is not trivial, it's a significant realization about the invisible influences in our lives. Once we identify that we are operating under the sway of an antiquated survival program, we can begin to change our narrative. Liberating ourselves requires a deliberate effort to identify and modify our automatic stress responses. It involves becoming aware of when we are about to make a fear-driven financial decision or recognizing patterns of negative thinking about our economic circumstances. Transforming our mindset means moving from fear to mindfulness, from reactive to proactive responses. It involves choosing to see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than threats. Such transformation is gradual, requiring continuous practice and embracing new ways of thinking and living. In the realm of financial health, opening the heart signifies being vulnerable to new experiences and outcomes without the preemptive fear of failure. An open heart is perceptive, spotting possibilities where a closed heart sees only barriers. It accepts the risk of prosperity, enhancing our financial engagements with optimism and health. Decisions stem not from fear, but from the potential for growth. Opening the heart also involves adopting gratitude and generosity, attributes that reshape our financial interactions. A grateful individual recognizes life's abundance, influencing financial choices towards a mindset of sufficiency rather than scarcity. Generosity fosters wealth circulation, releasing us from the grip of hoarding and allowing more wealth to flow. Approaching financial matters with an open heart not only improves our material success, but aligns us with a form of good fortune that transcends simple luck. It crafts a life rich not only in wealth, but in joy, satisfaction, and meaningful connections, elements often overshadowed by a survival-focused mindset. Research supports that our emotional and mental states significantly affect our physical and financial health. Discussing an open heart includes its emotional, relational, and physiological implications, promoting coherence between the heart and brain, enhancing clarity, decision-making, and opportunity recognition, crucial for financial dealings. By opening our hearts, we activate brain regions linked to positive emotions and social connectivity, influencing our financial actions. People in states of gratitude and openness are more inclined to invest in their futures, make sensible spending choices, and avoid hasty, fear-based financial decisions. Transforming your financial life begins with transforming your inner life. Start by acknowledging how your financial state correlates with your emotions. Set vivid financial goals, recondition your emotional responses to money, align your spending with your aspirations, and engage with a supportive community. These steps not only shift your financial trajectory, but your broader experience of luck, creating an environment ripe for opportunities and positive outcomes. 
Consider good luck as being in the right place at the right time. When your heart and emotions align, you position yourself to be that fortunate individual, fully engaged with the present and open to life's potentials. This isn't mere luck. It's crafting a life attuned to endless possibilities. Much of our existence is spent in a state of vigilance, influenced heavily by stress and the instinct to survive. This scenario is not theoretical, but a fact of life for many. We constantly monitor our surroundings nearly obsessively for signs of danger. This behavior, though it appears harmless, keeps us in a constant state of alert, primed for battle or flight. This mode of survival is profoundly rooted within us. It functions like a background software, controlling our reactions and decisions unknowingly. Any anomaly or disruption activates this system. Our physiological and mental states immediately ramp up to high alert, invoking responses that once served our ancestors against physical threats, but now react to modern stresses like financial strain or job-related pressures. This perpetual stress influences more than our mental state. It sculpts our entire life story and financial choices. In this state, the brain focuses on immediate threats, neglecting long-term objectives such as retirement savings or investments that require time to grow. This perspective leads to a continuous cycle of financial hardship and perceived misfortune. When under stress, our ability to make thoughtful, logical financial decisions suffers. We are prone to opting for solutions that provide instant relief or short-lived advantages, decisions that may alleviate our immediate worries but damage our financial future. For instance, consider the high interest debt one might incur through spontaneous spending meant to temporarily boost happiness. Such actions are clear examples of stress-driven behavior that results in significant financial consequences over time. Stress also alters how we perceive luck. Under stress, we might miss out on opportunities or even worse, view them as hazards. This distorted view can make us feel doomed or unlucky when in actuality, it is our survival instincts clouding our vision. Our financial predicaments stem not from lack of luck, but from our inability to steer through these clouded perceptions toward better financial decisions. Acknowledging that we are caught in a survival mindset is the first step towards altering our financial destiny and our perception of luck. This insight is profound, illuminating the hidden forces shaping our experiences. Realizing we are influenced by an outdated survival mechanism allows us to start rewriting our life's script. Escaping this cycle demands a conscious effort to identify and modify our routine stress responses. We must learn to detect signs of stress and the defensive behaviors we enact when threatened. This could be as simple as recognizing a fear-driven financial choice or identifying a pattern of pessimistic thoughts about our finances. Changing our mindset involves shifting from fear to mindfulness, from reactive measures to proactive strategies. It's about choosing different responses, viewing challenges as opportunities for growth instead of threats. This transformation requires time and consistent engagement with new thought processes and behaviors. Opening the heart in terms of financial health and luck means embracing vulnerability, being open to new experiences and outcomes without the fear of failure or loss. An open heart is more accepting, capable of seeing opportunities where a closed heart sees barriers. It welcomes the chance for wealth, even amidst risks. Operating from such a state encourages a healthy, optimistic approach to financial matters, focusing on potential rather than fear. Moreover, opening the heart involves cultivating gratitude and generosity, qualities that can redefine our financial interactions. A person filled with gratitude acknowledges the abundance in their life, likely making financial decisions from a place of adequacy rather than lack. Generosity, meanwhile, promotes the flow of prosperity, freeing us from the constraints of miserliness and enhancing our financial influx. Approaching our financial endeavors with an open heart not only boosts our material prospects, but also aligns us with a superior kind of fortune that surpasses mere luck. It fosters a life rich in joy, satisfaction, and meaningful relationships, qualities often neglected when living solely in survival mode. Studies confirm that our emotional and mental states significantly influence our physical and financial well-being. Discussing an open heart encompasses not only emotional and relational aspects, but also 
a physiological state promoting harmony between heart and brain, improving clarity, decision making, and opportunity recognition, all crucial for financial transactions. Research in neurocardiology has shown continuous communication between heart and brain, with the heart's electromagnetic field overpowering the brain's. A coherent heart positively influences brain function, enhancing emotional control and cognitive abilities. This means better problem solving, increased creativity, and more stable emotions, essential for effective financial management. Opening our hearts activates brain areas linked to positive emotions and social connections, directly affecting our financial behaviors. Those in states of gratitude and openness tend to make future-focused investments, spend responsibly, and avoid rash financial decisions driven by fear or stress. Transforming your financial life starts with transforming your inner life. Begin by acknowledging your financial status and its emotional connections. Set distinct financial objectives, reshape your emotional reactions to money, adjust your spending to reflect your aspirations, and join a supportive community. These steps not only change your financial direction, but also enhance your overall sense of luck, creating an environment where opportunities and positive outcomes naturally occur. When your heart is open and your emotions sync with your brain, you're more likely to be that person who seems always lucky. Being more engaged in the present, aware of surrounding opportunities and ready to seize them not only boosts your chances of success, but also crafts a life attuned to the endless possibilities around you. We live a large part of our lives in this state of defense, driven by innate stress and survival reflexes. This is not merely speculative, but a harsh reality for many. We perpetually monitor our surroundings with near compulsive scrutiny for any signs of danger. This behavior, while it may seem harmless, keeps us in a constant state of heightened readiness to either confront danger or flee. This mode of survival is deeply embedded in us, operating silently in the background, shaping our reactions and decisions unknowingly. Each unexpected occurrence or abnormality triggers this internal mechanism. Our bodies and minds elevate to a state of alert, invoking ancient physiological reactions once necessary for survival against physical dangers, now responding to modern-day stressors such as financial distress or workplace tension. The unrelenting stress not only affects our nerves but also sculpts our life narratives and financial behaviors. In this survival state, the brain is wired to prioritize immediate survival over long-term planning, such as saving for retirement or investing in future opportunities. This nearsighted approach leads to a repetitive cycle of financial instability and perceived bad luck. Under stress, our ability to make thoughtful and rational financial decisions is compromised. We tend to favor options that provide immediate comfort or short-term advantages, choices that may temporarily alleviate our worries but ultimately harm our financial future. For instance, stress can drive one to incur high interest debt through spontaneous spending aimed at achieving temporary happiness, a behavior directly influenced by operating under stress that results in long-term financial detriment. Moreover, stress skews our perception of luck. Under its influence, we may overlook potential opportunities or worse, interpret them as threats. This altered perception can make us feel unfortunate or cursed when in fact we are merely unable to navigate through the haze of our survival instincts. Our financial troubles stem not from a lack of luck, but from our stressed mind's inability to move towards sounder financial decisions. The initial step in transforming our financial destiny and our perception of luck involves recognizing that we are caught in a survival mindset. This realization is profound. It is an awakening to the unseen forces that mold our experiences. Once we acknowledge that we are functioning under an outdated survival mechanism, we can begin to change our narrative. Breaking free necessitates a deliberate effort to identify and modify our routine stress responses. We need to learn to spot signs of stress and the automatic defense mechanisms we enact when feeling threatened. This could involve recognizing a moment when we are about to make a decision based on fear or identifying a pattern of negative thinking concerning our financial status. Shifting our mindset requires moving from fear to mindfulness, from being reactive to proactive. 
It's about choosing to respond differently, seeing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than threats. This shift is not immediate, but occurs through consistent practice and adoption of new ways of thinking and behaving. In terms of financial health and luck, opening the heart means embracing vulnerability, allowing ourselves to experience new and varied outcomes without the initial fear of failure. An open heart is adaptive, seeing opportunities where a closed heart sees only barriers. It welcomes the possibility of prosperity even when risks are involved. When we operate from this open-hearted stance, we are more likely to manage our finances in a healthy, optimistic way, making decisions based on potential and growth rather than fear. Opening the heart also involves embracing gratitude and generosity, qualities that can transform our interaction with money. A person who is grateful acknowledges the abundance in their life and is more likely to make financial decisions that reflect a mindset of sufficiency rather than scarcity. Generosity, on the other hand, promotes the flow of prosperity. It liberates us from the confines of hoarding and opens up avenues for more wealth to enter our lives. Approaching our financial activities with an open heart not only improves our material success, but also aligns us with a kind of fortune that goes beyond mere luck. It fosters a life rich, not just in wealth, but in joy, satisfaction, and meaningful connections, qualities often overlooked when we operate strictly from a survival mindset. Science increasingly confirms that our emotional and mental states significantly impact our physical and financial health. When we discuss opening the heart, we are not only talking about emotional and relational capacities, but also a physiological state that influences our cognitive functions and decision-making capabilities. An open heart is more than a metaphor for kindness and vulnerability. It involves a specific physiological state marked by coherence between the heart and the brain, enhancing our ability to think clearly, make wise decisions, and spot opportunities, which is crucial in financial matters. Research in the field of neurocardiology shows that the heart and brain are in constant communication, with the heart's electromagnetic field being significantly stronger than the brain's. When the heart is coherent, it positively affects brain functions, leading to improved emotional regulation and cognitive performance. Practically, this means enhanced problem-solving skills, boosted creativity, and more stable emotions, all essential for effective financial planning and management. Additionally, when we open our hearts, we activate brain areas linked to positive emotions and social engagement. This shift directly affects our financial behaviors. For example, individuals who operate from a state of gratitude and openness are more likely to invest in their futures, engage in responsible spending, and steer clear of impulsive financial decisions driven by fear or stress. Transforming your financial life starts with transforming your inner life. Begin by acknowledging your current financial status and its emotional ties. Set clear financial goals, recondition your emotional responses to money, adjust your spending to align with your visions, and engage with a supportive community. These steps not only shift your financial trajectory, but also enhance your overall sense of luck, creating an environment ripe for opportunities and positive outcomes to flourish. Your energy field is an invisible layer around you, yet it holds the keys to much of your life experiences. It's like a magnetic field, attracting circumstances that resonate with its current state. Every thought, every emotion you experience vibrates at a certain frequency, and this frequency shapes the patterns within your field. For many people, recurring issues with money, debt, and unfortunate events are not merely a stroke of bad luck or a result of poor financial planning, but are deeply embedded in these vibrational patterns. Negative beliefs about money, such as, money is the root of all evil, or, I will never be wealthy. Reinforce a scarcity mindset. This mindset, in turn, vibrates at a frequency that attracts more scarcity. To break free from this cycle, it's essential to first become aware of these patterns. Awareness is the first step towards transformation. By understanding that these negative patterns are not permanent fixtures of your identity, you begin the process of disentangling yourself from them. Consider these patterns as old clothes that no longer fit you. They are not you, but merely things you are carrying. The quantum field is a realm that lies beyond our standard physical understanding of the world. In this field, all possibilities exist simultaneously, beyond the limitations of time and space. 
Here, the traditional laws of physics as we know them do not apply in the same way. What does this mean for you? It means that in the quantum realm, the constructs that we take for granted, like time and distance, do not limit us. When we talk about the quantum field in practical terms, we refer to a state of being where everything is interconnected. Your intention and your consciousness can interact with this field to create changes that seem impossible from a purely physical perspective. For instance, the idea that you can influence your financial status by adjusting your mental and emotional disposition might seem far-fetched, yet quantum mechanics opens the door to such possibilities. This is because your consciousness is not confined to your physical body. It can extend far beyond it, influencing and interacting with the quantum field. When you set a clear intention, like achieving financial freedom, and combine it with high vibrational emotions like joy and gratitude, you begin to influence this field. Elevated emotions are key to influencing your energy field, and by extension, the quantum field. When you truly feel emotions such as joy, gratitude, and abundance, they have the power to transform the vibrational patterns in your energy field. This transformation sends a clear signal to the quantum field that you are ready for new and improved experiences. Why do elevated emotions have such power? Emotions are the language that the quantum field understands. By emitting positive high-frequency emotions, you communicate directly with this field, transcending traditional physical limitations. You start to draw experiences that resonate with these emotions, experiences that include financial prosperity and positive outcomes. But how do you cultivate these emotions, especially if you're currently experiencing hardship? The key lies in daily practice and genuinely immersing yourself in these feelings. For instance, instead of merely thinking about gratitude, deeply feel grateful for what you do have, no matter how small. This could be as simple as the air you breathe, the food you eat, or the people in your life. Changing your energy field and tapping into the quantum field requires practical, actionable steps. Here are several techniques you can start with today. Begin each day with a meditation focused on visualizing your life as you wish it to be. See yourself free from financial struggles, surrounded by prosperity. Make this visualization as vivid and detailed as possible, incorporating sensory details like sounds, sights, and feelings. After your meditation, set clear, positive intentions for what you want to achieve. Be specific about your financial goals, such as paying off all your debts or achieving a certain income level. These intentions will act as signals to the quantum field, aligning your energy with your desires. Throughout your day, maintain a high level of awareness regarding your thoughts and feelings. The moment you notice negative or self-defeating thoughts creeping in, consciously choose to focus on positive, empowering thoughts instead. This practice helps maintain the integrity of your energy field and strengthens your connection to the quantum field. By integrating these practices into your daily routine, you begin to reshape your energy patterns. This doesn't just change how you feel, it changes your life's trajectory. As you align more closely with the frequencies of abundance and well-being, the universe begins to respond in kind, reflecting back to you the energies you are emitting. Our lives are shaped not just by our actions, but by the stories we tell ourselves about who we are and what we deserve. If your story is one of constant struggle and hardship, it's time to rewrite it. A story of abundance, joy, and prosperity is within your reach, and it begins with a powerful act of letting go. Imagine physically throwing all your limiting beliefs, your doubts, and your fears down the toilet. It's a symbolic act of flushing away the old to make room for the new. This visual can be potent. It's about discarding those parts of your story that no longer serve you. You are not your past mistakes, your financial struggles, or the times you've been unlucky. You are whatever you choose to become. To start rewriting your story, you first need to identify and articulate the old narratives that have been holding you back. Reflect deeply on what you often tell yourself about your financial situation. Do you see patterns where you expect failure or hardship? Recognizing these patterns is the first step to dismantling them. Once you've identified these limiting beliefs, begin crafting a new narrative. This involves practicing affirmations that reinforce your ability to create and attract wealth and good fortune. For example, replace thoughts like, I'm always unlucky with, I create my own luck through positive actions and thoughts. 
Visualization is a powerful tool in rewriting your story. Each day, spend time visualizing yourself living the life you desire. See yourself in a new light, successful, thriving, and content. Imagine going through your day with ease, paying bills without stress, and having enough surplus to enjoy life and help others. The more detailed your visualization, the more impactful it will be. Journaling can significantly support this transformation. Write down your new story every day. Describe your day as if everything has aligned perfectly for your financial and personal success. This practice not only reinforces your new beliefs, but also embeds them deep within your subconscious, helping to solidify this new identity. This isn't just wishful thinking or mere positivity. The principles we are discussing are backed by scientific research and have shown tangible results in the lives of countless individuals. Let's explore some of the scientific underpinnings and documented changes that can occur when you apply these principles. At the forefront of physics, researchers are beginning to understand how the quantum field interacts with our consciousness. Studies suggest that our consciousness can influence quantum probabilities, the likelihood of events occurring in certain ways. By aligning your thoughts and emotions with the outcomes you desire, you are statistically increasing the chances of those outcomes materializing. In practical terms, there have been numerous accounts of individuals who have experienced profound changes in their financial and personal lives through these practices. For example, in controlled experiments, participants who engaged in daily meditations focusing on gratitude and abundance began to see notable improvements in their financial status within just a few weeks. On a biological level, these practices can alter your brain's wiring and gene expression. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, is heavily influenced by one's mental activities. Regular meditation and positive thinking can strengthen the neural pathways associated with positive expectations and outcomes. Moreover, there is growing evidence that such shifts can affect gene expression related to stress, aging, and overall health. This is significant because it shows that not only can you change your mental state and emotional experiences, but you can also enact biological changes that pave the way for long-term health and vitality, which are essential for sustaining a life free from poverty and misfortune. These practices often lead to more holistic changes in a person's life. By adopting a mindset of abundance and wellness, individuals often make better financial decisions, are more open to opportunities, and engage in healthier lifestyle choices. This comprehensive approach not only improves one's financial situation, but enhances overall well-being. Your life is a story, one that you continually narrate through your thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Each of us adheres to a script, often unconsciously, that defines how we perceive and interact with the world. For many, this script includes chapters of limitation, scarcity, and struggle, particularly around themes like poverty, debt, and bad luck. But what if you could rewrite this story? What if you could discard these old chapters and start fresh with a narrative filled with abundance and prosperity? Take a moment to reflect on the beliefs you hold about money and fortune. Do you find yourself thinking that financial security is for others, but not for you? Do you believe that every time you come close to success, something bad happens? These beliefs are powerful and act as directives to your subconscious, shaping your life experiences to fit the story you believe to be true. Beliefs are not just idle thoughts. They are instructions to your energy field and the quantum field, manifesting as your reality. To change your reality, you must first alter these deeply held beliefs. This process begins by challenging them. Ask yourself, are these beliefs truly my own, or have they been inherited from family, society, or past experiences? By dissecting these beliefs, you start to weaken their hold on your narrative. 